Welcome to another video all of you. In this one, we will talk about geometry for mathematical olympiads such as IOQM, RMO, INMO, American math competitions and other entrances like ISI entrance, CMI entrance, STEP, the entrance of University of Cambridge. How to study geometry, what books to follow, what problem sets to follow. We will talk about all of these things in this particular video. Hello everyone, my name is Oshani Dashgupto. If you are new to this channel, let me tell you that we talk everything mathematics here. We are very excited to solve new beautiful problems, share learning ideas. We also offer courses in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, ISI, CMI entrances. You can check the link in the description for more details. Let's get started with geometry for mathematical olympiads and ISI, CMI entrances. So first, I'll talk about the little kids, that is grains 1 to 6. How do you get started? How do you teach geometry to these kids? The first principle is this, that you have to do hands-on geometry, hands-on geometry. How do you do it? Well, one way is to use softwares such as GeoGebra, Desmos, Global Compass. They are excellent pieces of software. You can use them to construct geometric objects. Now, what we noticed is why we construct geometric objects in these softwares. Students pick up a lot of additional things. For example, they pick up what is the coordinate of a point, how you draw straight lines. In fact, what are the equations of straight lines? How do curvature matter? in a particular object like a sphere. We talk about platonic solids. We talk about how to draw platonic solids using orientations of different planes. So it's really a very strong hands-on exercise. And while they construct all of these models using these softwares, they learn a lot and they also feel sort of attached to the subject. The second part is to do a bit more hands-on physical modeling. This can be done using tools like origami, that is paper folding geometry, done using cardboard geometry, like you can make models of cubes, octahedrons, icosahedrons, and other platonic solids. You can create physical models of graphs. Graphs means vertices and edges attached to each other, so balls being attached to rods, and you make physical models of graphs and you talk about adjacency, incidence, and those ideas. So, for grades 1 to 6, these are the two main tools to teach geometry. You use softwares, and or you use physical models, origami, and so on. But, you should also have a solid problem set that allows them to recognize spatial patterns. So, this problem set we recommend is from Math Kangaroo, especially the one that is conducted in Canada, and Australian Math Competition. That's also an excellent competition. From grades 1 to 6, you can choose these question papers. You can pick up the problems which allow the students to recognize spatial patterns, and that can be a game changer. You do not want the kids to learn a lot of information at this stage of their life. You want them to be of active mind, take one problem at a time, and think about them. So to summarize, use softwares like GeoGebra, Desmos, Robocompass. Use paper folding geometry, origami. And number three, use interesting problems from competitions like Australian Math Competition and Path Kangaroo. This is from for grains one to six. For grade students in grades 7 and 8, we start with a specific book on geometry called Kiselev's Planimetry. Kiselev's Planimetry. It's an excellent book. It starts with some easy hands-on type problems where the students do computations, but it also introduces proof writing. 
we strongly believe that proofwriting is a very important component of doing geometry. Most students in different schools in India, United States and other places do not do proofwriting. But proofwriting is an essential part of Olympiad level geometry. So the students must start with this. Having said that, I'm not saying that you don't need to do computational geometry. You must do that as well. But both of these things should go hand in hand. So focus on the book of Planimetry by Klikisilev. And for problem set, you can use AMC 8, American Math Competition 8 problem set. NMTC Gauss problem set from India and University of Waterloo contests. These are the three contests that we focus on for problem sets at this level, 7th and 8th grade. Now comes 9th and 10th grade and 11th and 12th grade. So the primary book at this particular stage is Challenges and Thrills of Pre-College Mathematics. It has an excellent collection of problems taken from all books, all sorts of books, especially Russian books. Chapter 3 and Chapter 4 of Challenges and Thrills of Pre-College Mathematics is really excellent. You should try the problems on your own first. If you are unable to do it, you should ask for help. Do not ask for entire solutions. Ask for hints from your friends. Or if you are enrolled in a program like Chinta's Math Olympiad program, ask help from your teachers. Whatever it is, ask for help, not solutions. It's very important that you are able to unlock the problems on your own. That you are not taking help from someone else and you are unlocking most of the problems on your own. And this may take a ton of time. This is the most critical mistake that students at this particular level do. They think that, okay, if I know this, this, this concept, maybe I will be able to solve this particular problem. It may not be so. In fact, even if you know all the theorems, all the relevant theorems, you may not be able to solve an application problem right away. You have to think and think a lot. You have to make specific diagrams. You have to redo the diagrams a hundred times. That is how you really get inside the problem and it might take a day, a week, a month to unlock a single problem. That is completely all right. That is when your brain is sort of getting rewired and you are able to think beyond the routine mathematics. So the book to focus on is Challenges and Thrills of Pre-College Mathematics and the problem sets that you can look up are from RMO, Regional Math Olympiad in India, INMO, Indian National Math Olympiad, USMO. You can look up problems from AMC 10 and AMC 12 and AME. These are the six places you can look up problems from. These are excellent sources. The problems are interesting, challenging and you will be able to sort of master the ideas that you need to solve these problems from the book Challenges and Thrills of Pre-College Mathematics. Now we come to the final stage. What, you are, what if you are done with all of these books, Planimetry by Krisilev, Challenges and Thrills of Pre-College Mathematics, what can you explore next? So there are many areas of geometry which are absolutely stunning and beautiful. I will share some of the advanced books with you in this particular video. The first one that I really love is the book on geometric transformations by Yaglong. There are four volumes of this book. He discusses the normal geometric transformations like rotation, translation, and then he also talks about certain advanced ones, for example, inversion, homotheity, and so on. A similar beautiful book is called Geometry Revisited by Coxter. It's a fantastic book. It contains insights of a truly great mathematician. 
Oxford himself was a great mathematician and it's remarkable that he wrote a book like this for little kids. Apart from these two books, the book by Com on complex numbers and geometry, uh, actually the name of the book is Complex Numbers from A to Z by T2 and Riskew, is fantastic. It contains a section on geometry and how complex numbers react with it. You can also look it up. There are areas of geometry like projective geometry, inversive geometry, axiomatic Euclidean and non-Euclidean geometry that you can definitely explore. Finally, I'll tell you one book that is my favorite. In, in a sense, it is related to the area of my research in, during my PhD years and even now. It's on hyperbolic geometry by Bonahan. Many students of Ch at Chinda are pursuing research projects on hyperbolic geometry and this is an excellent book to get started with. So I hope this particular video is useful for you. You can use the main textbooks, the problem sets that I indicated and the learning strategies and definitely ask for help whenever and to whoever you can. Find some people who are equally excited about geometry as you are then you'll be able to solve a ton of good problems and get prepared for Olympiads and similar contests. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this kind of stuff, you can stay connected with us, stay subscribed, like and share. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.